Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a virtual box. This allows you to have a secure Windows 10 desktop inside of your existing desktop that you can open up and use if you're experimenting with certain programs or viruses and you're afraid that you might harm your computer. By using a virtual box for these tasks you can be sure that no virus will escape the box and harm your PC since the VirtualBox desktop will be inside of an isolated and secure storage location. Or your current OS simply isn't Windows 10, but you still want to get the hang of it. In order to do this, you'll need the Oracle VirtualBox software, as well as the Windows 10 ISO file. You'll find download links to both in the description below, or on my website, together with a step-by-step -step tutorial. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, and you enjoy the straight to the point tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if this video helped you out, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to click on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to a website where you can download the Windows 10 ISO file. But in order to do that, you need to download the Windows 10 installation tool. So go ahead and click download now and open it up. And accept. And now click create an installation media to create the ISO file and hit next. Now you can uh, change the settings. I'm going to change the language to English, United Kingdom. You can choose Windows 10 and the 64-bit version and press next. Now click on ISO file and press next. And now you can just save it Windows 10 ISO. I'm going to save mine on my desktop and click save. While it's downloading, just go ahead and click on the second link in the description below, which will redirect you to the Oracle website where you can download the virtual box. Just click download and wait for it to download. Once it has finished downloading, just go ahead and open it up. Then click on new and give your virtual machine a name, in our case Windows 10 and select the corresponding operating system which would obviously be Microsoft Windows and Windows 10 64-bit and click next. Now you can give it a certain amount of your RAM I'm just going to pick 10 gigs and click next. Now make sure to select create a virtual hard disk now unless you already have a hard disk and just click create. Now just click on settings, system and processor. Here you can assign your virtual machine a certain amount of your CPU's cores. I'm just going to choose four. Now go to storage, click on empty and the little disk icon. Now you need to choose an ISO file, in our case the Windows 10 ISO file, and click OK. Once you've done all of this, you can now start it up. Now you can select the language and just click Next and Install Now. Now it's going to ask you to type in your product key. If you have one, you can do that, but I would definitely not recommend this method. Just click on I don't have a product key and it should work just fine. Now select Windows 10 Home since that's what we want to install. Accept the terms. And click on Custom.
now it's going to get all the files ready and this can take quite a long time so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this now Windows 10 is restarting in order to apply the changes that we just made Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Okay, we're definitely if gonna need an assistive screen reader, turn off the windows. Cortana because seriously now she is annoying now you can you can choose your region and all of that it's exactly the same setup process as if you'd buy a new PC and turn it on for the first time select your keyboard layout uh, in my case German Now you'll have the option to sign in with your Microsoft account. After signing in, you'll have a couple of extra options to choose from. And a lot of loading. As you can see, Windows has been successfully installed. You now have all of the options that you would usually have and everything just works perfectly fine. So that's how to successfully install Windows 10 on a virtual machine. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to know how to enable and use VNC in order to control your PC or Raspberry Pi with your smartphone, go ahead and check out my previous videos. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.